The Sony ZV-1 has taken the YouTube community over with the small and lightweight point and shoot camera. Recently, I took the camera on location in pretty harsh conditions. I was surprised how well the camera handled itself and how it compared to Sony's A6600. So we're going behind the scenes in this video to demonstrate the capabilities of this little camera. Let's go inside and behind the scenes and take a look at Sony's ZV-1. Hello and welcome back to Blade Insider, where we discuss all things knives. Today, we're not going to discuss knives. We're going to take a peek behind the curtain and discuss some of the equipment used to produce these videos. Behind the scene videos are always fun, so I hope you'll enjoy this video. I just obtained the Sony ZV-1 for use as a B camera and with product close-ups. My first use of the camera was on location in some pretty harsh conditions. I was blown away with the results. So I want to focus on some real world applications with the Sony ZV-1 and how it compared with my other camera and wireless lav system. So if you're new to this channel, we discuss all things knives. This includes knife reviews, knife maintenance, and general tips and news about knives. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and subscribe to our channel for new weekly content. And if you like the video, please hit the like button below and don't forget to ring the bell. I've been using the Sony A6600 to create my videos. The A6600 is a mirrorless APS-C camera that uses interchangeable lenses. I mostly use a Sigma 30 lens with my setup in the studio. I pair this camera with the Atomos Ninja 5 monitor and recorder. I've been getting some really decent results with these pieces of equipment and with minimal color grading. On the other hand, the Sony ZV-1 is a tiny camera with an integrated 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent f1.8 to 2.8 lens. Some of the features that made me want to go and get this camera include the side flip-out LCD, the 4K capability with HLG and S-Log gammas, numerous built-in picture profiles, a directional three capsule microphone with an included windscreen, bokeh switch, built-in ND filters, Sony's autofocus capability, the product showcase setting, and the imaging edge mobile app for iOS. The flip out screen allows you to use the camera without a separate monitor. The integrated fast lens reduces the bulk of camera equipment when you're out on location. And the built-in picture profiles will save you time color grading your product. Typically, camera microphones are poorly implemented. The ZV-1's mic is quite good and usable. In fact, I'm going to show you how good this microphone is in a minute. But above all, the autofocus and the product showcase setting sets the camera apart. Sony's autofocus is fantastic and it has a setting for a product showcase which will focus on the product that you put in front of the camera. This focus will snap onto the product once you place it in front of the lens and snap back to you once you take that product away. I'm not aware of another camera out there with this quick capability to focus both on you and the product and be able to differentiate between the two. 
all of these features allow you to shoot, edit, and publish with little post-production time. And your time is a valuable commodity as a YouTube creator. A valuable accessory to this camera is a wireless shooting grip. This connects to the camera via Bluetooth and is essentially a selfie stick. The grip allows you to control the camera's functions and acts as a tripod. But the grip is small enough that the camera and the grip combination can fit in a big pocket or a small purse. So it's not going to attract a lot of attention if you're out in public vlogging. That's enough background. The real reason I made this video was the fact that I recently filmed with the ZV-1 in pretty harsh conditions. We were on location on the shoreline of Lake Erie. The lighting was pretty harsh from the cloudless morning sky and winds were about 25 miles an hour from the northeast. My A camera was a Sony A6600 with Sermonic Blink 500 wireless mics. My B camera was a Sony ZV-1. I would have thought that the Sony A6600 would have blown the ZV-1 out of the water. It didn't. After filming, I went back to edit the video and was amazed by the results. Let's take a look at some of the raw and unedited results. The only edits that were made on the video were to the audio and only to reduce peaking. Now here are some clips of both the A6600 with the wireless mics and the ZV-1. These clips are from the same scenes and are unedited. This is a 319 proper in my Carta Scales. The knife has no clip and fits very well in your pocket. I really love the micarta. I am constantly rubbing it and imparting my own hand oils on it. If you rub this knife with your hand oils, you'll give it your own patina and therefore its own unique look. The grip of the knife is very smooth, but it has a good feeling to the touch. The scales are secured by three screws that can be dismantled. The scales are chamfered and a backspacer runs the entire length of the knife. I was blown away by these results. The camera was approximately three and a half feet away from me at about 10 o'clock. Yet the microphone picked up my voice when I was not directly looking at it in wind speeds of 25 miles an hour or more. Let's take a quick listen again. It is undisputed that slip joint folding knives form part of the foundation of knife culture. We all have traditional slip joint knives that have been handed down from our fathers and grandfathers. But do traditional slip joint knives have limitations? Of course they do. Limitations in deployment and lack of modern steels. The picture is very usable as well. The A6600 is using Sony's 18 to 135 millimeter lens with a variable ND filter. The ZV-1 is using its own integrated lens with its own built-in ND filter. I thought it worked fine under the harsh lighting conditions. I usually don't create tech videos, but every once in a while, it's cool to go behind the scenes and learn how creators are making their videos and what equipment they're using. I'm really impressed with the ZV-1. It's a great camera for any new content creator, whether you're on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. It's small and portable, but packed full of features that are better than a lot of expensive mirrorless options, especially the product showcase mode. If you feature products in your video, then this is a must have camera. But I'm also very impressed with the microphone on this camera. It did very well in a pretty harsh environment. 
So what's the verdict on this camera? I think it's a definite recommendation. Sony markets this camera as a vlogging camera and does that very well, but the camera also takes great stills. If you're thinking about creating videos and you want to update your equipment, you can't go wrong with this camera. Also, if you're a new content creator, I think it's a first choice. Definitely think about getting the vlogging accessory kit that includes a grip and an SD card. The camera is very small, so the grip helps out while filming and will act as a tripod. So I know there's been a lot of videos about this camera, but none that have really tested the limits of it. So I hope you got some benefit from this video. And if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to ring the bell. Also, subscribe to our channel for new weekly content. We'll see you next week.